going on. Uh, as you can see, I have a new intro now. Uh, I recorded it on a county road out here. Um, so I've been dealing with bike berry a bit. Um, that and gasbike.net, usually they're pretty good. Um, as of late though, there's been issues with my orders. Um, it's taken two separate orders being shipped to me, only paying for one because they've messed up with inventory. Um, I understand that not everybody knows everything about these bikes or maybe they're just busy or what, but so far out of the two different shipments, I am still missing a copperhead gasket. I originally ordered fuel line and fuel filter, bottom end gasket, um, chain, and there was something else. And the first shipment I got the chain, the, that might've been the only thing that was right on that first order. They ended up, oh, and the bottom head gasket were the only two things that I got right on that order. They sent me a silver drive sprocket cover instead of the copper head gasket and one of those dual uh, brake cable lever things that's in one handle instead of my fuel line. Um, so I sent them an email saying, hey, this is the issue. Here's the order number. Here's a picture of what you guys sent me instead of what I was supposed to get. So they sent out another package. It was my fuel line, but instead of a copperhead gasket, they sent me another bottom cylinder gasket. So I've got another email into them. I probably won't hear back until tomorrow or something. Um, I have to take another picture. I mean, for the most part, their service has been pretty good. Um, I, I try not to dog on people too much because just because I had a bad experience doesn't mean everybody else doesn't have a good one. So um, the bike's been running pretty good this go around. Um, the chain's doing good. The new rear sprocket, I got the 36 tooth. Um, so far, top speed's been about 35, 36 miles an hour. Um, I had to crush my exhaust end a little bit because what I had, one of my last cheaper motors, the front motor mount broke and spun the whole engine and everything and the exhaust into the back wheel ripping spokes out and knocking the end of that thrust racing exhaust off. So it made it extremely loud. Which I mean is cool and all if you know you're not trying to not draw attention to yourself. So um, I've been getting a lot of looks from the bike here lately so I decided to crush the end of the exhaust down a little bit to make the expansion chamber actually do its job and it's actually running better. Um, so if you can see in the intro, um, it is not the original bike that I had originally built that Huffy. This one is a, a hyper, um, still the same ape hanger handlebars on it though. Um, but I've gone through so many gas tanks. I've tried putting rubber under them and using the bolts. I've tried all sorts of things and at this point it just kind of got to where I was tired of spending money on tanks so what I did is I put a strip of rubber down to keep the tank from vibrating and then just duct tape the hell out of it. Um, I use black duct tape because the bike's black, the tank's black. Um, so it all kind of matches up and it doesn't look too god awful. Um, here probably this evening or one of these other nights I'm gonna have a friend of mine take me out and up pick up so I can record an extra or outro whatever the heck you want to call it with my bike at night because um, I have some lights on it and stuff I want to put some more on it but I need to you know pay rent and internet and all that good stuff first you know bills come first and I mean yeah the bikes my transportation and uh, it's definitely been a fun project but now I have other priorities um, so I just do what I can to keep it running, keep it legal. Um, but yeah, it's the new engine I bought because my bike sat out all winter last year because I was incarcerated as you've seen in my last video. Um, so I ordered a new engine. Well, 
I don't know if I had my mixture wrong or if I was running it too lean, but within a couple tanks full of gas, it was, it seized up. And so I trashed the cylinder and I trashed the piston and all that. So I had ordered a new piston set from gasbike.net. Um, they got sent out to me, but in the meantime, I had another piston with good rings so but it wouldn't fit that new motor because the jet engines apparently they redid the pistons on them towards more of a universal piston so the one that i had on it was actually too short um, so i reused the old piston that had scored up the walls with the, the stuff but it's still running good so um, it's mainly with these two strokes you got to worry about your piston rings really not so much your pistons i mean you got to worry about your pistons too but uh, it gets into a lot of crap that I don't really know about, but um, I'm thinking about ordering another cylinder sleeve, cylinder, whatever the hell you want to call it, and doing some custom work to one of those and then seeing how it works. Um, but like I said, that's another deal down the road because I've got to get the tools and then i got to order the cylinder and, you know, I just... And I want to make a window piston to see if that makes any kind of a difference. Um, I tried putting reed valves on the bike at one point. That ended up not being so good. Really cut the power down bad. I don't know if the reeds were too stiff or if it wasn't. If these bikes just aren't really designed for them. Some people say they are. Some people say they aren't. Um, I guess it's all just really a matter of how you've got it built pretty much um, because there's a lot of variables with these engines I mean yeah they are only two stroke there's no valves there's really no timing that you can adjust to speak of but they still have stuff you got to do to them and you got to learn how to do it you can't just pick it up and know everything because it's taken me the last year two years to finally get you know at least where I'm at now to where I can diagnose an issue know when the bike's losing compression if I fried a ring or you know if it's running too rich too lean right now I believe I've got it adjusted just perfect where I can get up to the top end it's still running rich enough that it's not melting pistons but it's not so rich that it's four stroking um, so here one of these other videos I'll do a walk around to this bike um, so, I mean, like with Bike Berry and Gas Bike and a lot of them other ones, they are getting the parts from China, so sometimes stuff will be out of stock for longer than you think it needs to. Be patient with them. You know, they're trying to do the best they can. And like I said, they may have messed up my order, but I've had nothing but excellent service from both these companies. Um, yeah, sometimes shipping takes longer. That's kind of how it it is I mean they don't really charge a lot for shipping so you're not gonna get the best service with shipping because the shipping companies if you don't pay a whole lot for them they don't really get it to you as fast as you would like um, and it's not on gas bike or bike berry I I've heard of a couple other outfits but I haven't really checked into them because um, these companies are you, you know have the stuff that I'm using So I'll put links in the description for Gas Bike and Bike Berry. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. But like I said, they're two reputable companies that I actually have some good dealings with. I mean, there's been some issues in the past, but like I said, they usually try to fix it pretty quickly. Um, so work's been going good. Yeah. Probation's been going decent. Um, I got switched to a new probation officer, so we're going to see how this handles and works out. Um, this was my three-day weekend. Um, since it's Labor Day, we get a paid holiday, but I, since I haven't been there 90 days, I don't know if I get the paid holiday or if it's 30 days and nobody at work can seem to tell me what's going on. And uh, speaking of work, I was going through YouTube was it yesterday or the day before. And I found a channel that I had started 10 years ago, nine years ago, something like that. 
god awful channel. Hor horribly recorded. I was using a cheap ass laptop with one of those headset things with a microphone, and the microphone wasn't picking up the video very well. So I was like having to hold it into my mouth, and it, just, it was awful. And I was bitching about work. Um, <laughs> the funny thing is, ten years later, I'm back at this job, uh, but it pays well, and. As you can tell, I've lost weight. Uh, that is mostly to my job. Um, I am working out. I'm trying to get in better health. Um, but doing lifting weights and running and so that way I can stay in better shape for my job. Because um, with my job, the line of work I'm in, industrial beef slaughter, if you're not in good shape, you're going to be hurting all the time. And I'm tired of hurting. I may be 33 years old, but I'm not that old, and time to do something better with my life. I've spent the last, since I was 18, so 15 years pretty much fucking off, and it's, it's time to change all that. So, that's going to be the end of the video today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this one edited and uploaded and tied in with that intro, and I'll probably get back with you guys like next week or something. Later.